¿Quieres casarte conmigo? Hi. Hello, good evening. Hello. Let's see. Yeah, very good. I have Max, Nancy, Walter, and Esther. How are you today? Hi, thank you. Very I'm good. You. Very good. Nice to hear. Nice to hear that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good. I'm really good too. Okay, let's see what we're going to say. What we're we going to do today. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we did yesterday. Do you remember what we were doing yesterday? Yo llegué hasta 38, no sé, no sé, ya no recuerdo más. 38, this one. Ajá. Pero sí era más de ahí. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did this. Hicimos esto comparatives. Yes, yes. No. Ahí sí no. No. No hicimos comparatives. No, no. No hicimos. No. So, solo hicimos la, la, esto, esto. Bien. Yeah. Mm -hmm, eso sí. Repetition, ok. So, we're going to continue from here. Comparative adjectives, ok. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, so let's see how many we have today. Max, welcome. Ulises, welcome. Grisela, welcome. Jennifer. Okay, um, so let's wait for some more. I don't know why they, they oversleep. Uh, so let's pega la cobija, they oversleep. <laughs> okay, let's see. There is Veronica. Who's next? Who's next? So this is um, this is the end of, of section number three. So you guys are supposed to be uh, finishing um, finishing uh, section one, two, and three, and also the midterm test. Um, tienen que ya hacer el, el, el examen intermedio. We're going to uh, take a look of the test, okay? Vamos a echarle un ojito al, al test para ver que vean cómo es. Okay. For this weekend, need the term. Uh, all this weekend, you need to be this finished year. section one, two, three, and the test. Okay. Okay. okay, let's begin with you guys, okay? Since you guys are early. Let's, let's do it with the early birds, okay? The early birds. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go over here and let's go with this. So here we go. So we are in comparative adjectives, comparative adjectives. All right, so let's begin. So supposedly, supposedly we already did. Ya hicimos esta, um, esta pronunciación ayer, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. So we're going to do comparative adjectives. Okay, so let's see how we start. Voy a comenzar acá, let me see. Yeah, like this. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, Esther, can you start reading, please? Yes. Comparative adjective are used to compare difference between two, the two two objects they modif, mod, mod, modify 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 a large larger 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 smaller fast faster faster uh, higher higher 
They are used you said in sentences. 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 To uh, nouns are compared in this in this pattern. Pattern. Pattern noun. A subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus that plus noun object. Very good. So the comparative adjectives are the ones we use to compare differences between two things, two people, uh, and whatever you, you want to compare, okay? So for example, I can compare this shirt, this shirt, oh wait, let me see here. This shirt, this shirt is better than this shirt, got it? Yeah. This shirt is better than this shirt, okay? So that's a comparison between two things. No more than two, between two things, okay? So let's move on. Any questions here about vocabulary or anything? No. How do you pronounce modify? Modify like that. Modify. Remember, remember that when you see ed at the end of, of, of the verse, that means that it's simple past and you have to pronounce like t. Use. Don't say use it. Use. Use. This one too. Look, it has ed, so it's compared. 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 Okay. Very good. Moving on. Compared. Okay, Max. Uh, can you read this part, please? Okay, sir. Now, subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun object. The second item. Of item, item. The second item. Thank you. The second item of comparison can be omitted if it is clear from the context. Final example below. Example My house was larger than her. The box was smaller than the one I lost. Your dog ran faster than Jimmy's dog. The dog flew higher than the roof. Jim and I can see the, the word, sir. Jim, Jim and Jack. And, Jim, Jim and Jack. And the, the, the next word, Jim and Jack. Jim and Jack were both my friends. Jim and Jack were both my friends, but I like it, Jack, better. No like it. ¿Se termina en ED que dijimos? Like it. Like it. Pronunciación T. I like I like I like, I like Jack better. Yes, very good. Okay, so, so this, this is I how have we go. In my screen. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Um, so this is how it goes. That, that's how we form the comparative, okay? So all of this. And notice that I'm using simple past. Was, was, ran, no run, ran. Run is R-U-N and is the basic. So this is um, this is simple past. Flu and where. Any questions? No questions. Okay, cool. Let's move on and this goes to let me see who, wait, 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 my bad. Uh, this goes to Grisela. Grisela, can you read this part, please? Okay. One, uh, C-level adjectives. Add uh, air for the comparative. If the adjectives, adjective has a consonant plus single vowel. 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 Plus consonant spelling. The final consonant must be double before adding the ending. Very good. Thank you. Adjective tall, fat, big, sad. Comparative taller, father, bigger, sadder. Good. So check out the rule. The rule says that if the adjective has a consonant plus single vowel, for example, F-A-T, look, this is consonant, vowel, and consonant. 
So because it is the, 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 the vowel is alone, so we need to double the T. So that's why it's fatter. The same goes with this. Look, consonant, vowel, consonant. Como está encerrada por consonantes, so la siguiente consonante va a ser doble. Bigger. So that's the rule, okay? Questions? No. No questions. Okay, let's move on then. All right, Eduardo, can you read this part, please? Okay. Three or more syllables. Adjectives, syllables, syllables. Uh, syllables, excuse me. Adjectives with three or more syllables form the comparative by putting more, on, more in front of the adjective. Thank adjective. you, thank you very much. Yes. Important, comparative, more important, expensive. Adjective, expensive, comparative, more expensive. Thank you very much. So as you can see, in this one, three or more syllables. And in the previous one, we only had one syllable. But the, but the rule says that because the vowels are between consonants, the last consonant must be doubled. Como se encierra, la vocal se encierra entre dos consonantes, la última consonante tiene que ser doble. Okay? So, but it is only one syllable. So, let's una syllable. So, let's go to this. Look, three or more. Why is three or more? Because, look, you say, in, for, tent. Three syllables. Entonces, la, la regla dice que si tiene tres sílabos o más, le vamos a anteponer more. That's why it is more important. Expensive. Expensive, three syllables. That's why we say more expensive, okay? Beautiful. Do you guys understand, everybody? Yes. Very good, okay. Remember that, three or more syllables, you use more. Let's go next, uh, Walter. Walter, can you read this part, please? Of course. Irregular comparatives. These very common adjectives have com completely irregular comparative forms. Adjectives. Good, bad, little, much, and far uh, will be comparatives. Better, worse, less, more, further, and farther. Oh. Farther. Farther, further. Farther, further. Farther, further. Farther, further. further. Y significan lo mismo, no problem. Okay, okay. So, so you see irregular comparatives is just like the irregular verbs. Es que son totalmente como los ir verbos irregulares que no tienen una regla definitiva. So, por ejemplo, miren esta que tan, que tan alocado es, que far dice further, farther. So, puede decirse de las dos formas. Much more. Este se apega mucho menos, mucho más, digo, porque por lo menos lleva M al principio. O se acerca más, menos. Vean, little, less, bad, worse. Este es el más, estos dos son los más eh, disparejos que hay. So, they don't have any rule. So, the irregulars, they do whatever um, they go, okay? Questions? Preguntas? No, no questions. Good. All right, let's practice. Let's, I like the practice better. Let's go practice. Okay. Jake's room is blank, then Larry's room, a small. What is the correct answer? Smaller. Smaller. Yes. So Jack's room is a smaller than Larry's room. Everybody? Smaller. Jack's room. Jake's room is smaller than Larry's room. Wait, one more time. Jake's room is smaller than Larry's room. Everybody. Jake's room, Jake's room is smaller than Larry's room. room. Okay, let's go to the next. The blue car is blank it's than different. the black car. Nice. 
what is the answer? Nicer. Yes, the blue car, nicer. The blue car is nicer than the black car. Everybody. The blue car is nicer than the black car. Good. His pullover is blank than his jeans. It's nicer than the car. Darker. Darker. His pullover is darker than his jeans. Everybody. Pullover is darker than his jeans. His jeans. Pullover. You know pullover, right? It's darker than his jeans. It's darker. Pullover is darker than his jeans. Where is pullover? Empty hat. No, pullover is what well, we say um a, a jumper or what we say overall. Lo que le decimos overall. Ah, okay. Es un pantalón de una sola pieza que se amarra así hacia arriba. That's a pullover. Okay, moving on. This is a jumper. <laughs> jumper. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, sorry. Yes. Este, ¿por qué debemos poner darker? Porque just dark no es, como es comparativo. Comparativo. ¿Por qué debo poner dark? Ah, ya. Porque es comparativo. Uh -huh. Está aquí, uh -huh. pero ¿qué está comparando? El pullover con pullover. jeans. jeans. Okay. So tenemos que tener eso bien en mente. ¿Qué es lo que compara? Ok, Susan's hair is blank than my hair. Longer. Longer. Yes, Susan's hair is longer than my hair. Everybody? Longer. Susan's Susan hair is longer than my hair. Good. George is blank than Robert. Funnier. More funny. More funny. Funnier. 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 George is funnier than Robert. Number two. Yours. Yours is funnier than Robert. Is funnier than Robert. Okay, finish. So, right now, what we're going to do is that I'm going to show you the platform. Uh, I'm going to show you the way that you need to go through uh, the midterm test. Lo que tienen que hacer para el domingo tiene que estar terminado sección 1, sección 2 y el, y el examen. Ok, so let's go. I'm going to check, um, I'm going to check what I do here. What are we, oh, here. Um, ta -ta -ta -ta. Let me go to the platform. This is pre-intermedio 1. Yes. Pre-intermediate 1. Access to the course material. Is me teacher? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? Teacher, yeah. necesito su ayuda en, en contestar el ejercicio 2.11 de la plataforma. Envíelo al grupo. A veces yo estoy súper ocupado, que no lo puedo ver en el momento, pero lo envía al grupo y a veces muchos de los compañeros eh, lo contestan por usted, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Porque a veces estoy, a veces sí. lo puedo ver en el momento, pero a veces estoy bien amarrado. Okay. Sí. Y, y así para no hacerle esperar, ¿me entiendes? Sí, gracias. Ok, so, so voy a, um, I'm going to share my, my, my screen, ok, para que vean lo que estoy haciendo. Uh, where are we here? I'm going to share my screen. Oh, here. Okay, can you see? Pueden ver todos? Sí. Okay, so here, what you have to do is that you have to finish section one. Wait, estoy haciendo con otro grupo. Okay, um, you need to finish section one. All of this need to, needs to be done, okay? All of this have to be done. Then, section two. All of this has to be done for Sunday, this Sunday. If you wish, si, si desean, avísenme cuando lo hayan terminado para irle echar un ojo yo, okay? And then you also need to have section number three done, okay? 
So you need to have all of these done. Wait, 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 wait. All of these have to be done. When you finish this section, at the end is that midterm exam, el examen de medio termino. Okay, so you go over here and you're going to enter all of this. It, it, it has two, four, five sections. Tiene cinco secciones. Let's go to the listening one. Veamos qué hacen en el, en el listening. Come on, open, open, open. So, in the listening, what you need to do is this. Look, listen. Uh, points. ¿Cuántos puntos tiene? 20 puntos. Part one, instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So, van a escuchar bien, eh, se van a enfocar bien en cómo escuchar esa conversación porque de allí van a responder las preguntas, ¿ok? So, mm -hmm. let's see. Y aquí le sale la pregunta. De acuerdo a lo que aparezca aquí, Sylvie is Lucy's friend from Toronto, my classmate. De acuerdo a lo que escuchen aquí, aquí van a poner, van a seleccionar lo que hayan escuchado acá, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Then, number two, Sylvie's last name is, lo que haya dicho el, 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 el listening, aquí selecciona. Es súper fácil. Nada más que tienen que tener súper cuidado a escuchar bien, ¿ok? Si es posible, antes de contestar, escuchen dos o tres veces el audio, ¿ok? okay. Dos o tres veces el audio. Porque me ha pasado que muchos grupos solo lo escuchan una vez y que piensan que se les va a cargar el tiempo. No hay tiempo, ¿verdad? No hay tiempo. Tómese su tiempo. Y me lo contestan mal. Y es allí donde aplazan el, el curso. No lo pasan. No tomen toda la carrera. O sea, si pueden escucharlo uno, dos o tres veces, nítido. Y después contestan. Si tienen duda, regrese al, al, al audio para que vuelva a contestar. ¿okay? Si en la tres tengo duda, digo, Lucy's math teacher is, mm, aquí no me acuerdo. Entonces regreso al listening, lo escucho otra vez y me, me enfoco en esa respuesta. Y de ahí solo regreso y la contesto. ¿Ya? Sí. Ok. Me gusta hacer esto porque para que así no tengan ninguna duda y en el momento que lo estén haciendo, pues te, se tomen su tiempo, no lo tomen a la ligera, ¿ok? Eh, y luego, lo, bla, 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 bla. Luego viene la parte 2. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Lo mismo, mismo procedimiento, escuchar atentamente. No se preocupen si en la primera no lo escuchan bien. Puede escucharlo una, dos, tres, las veces que quiera hasta que esté usted satisfecho o satisfecha. Ben prefers the bla, bla, bla. De acuerdo a todo eso, contenta, contestamos todo eso. Ojo, en los precios, acuérdense que usted van a oír $25 and $0.25. $25 si quiero decir $25, solo voy a decir $25. Pero si quiero decir 25 dólares y 25 centavos, voy a decir 25 dólares and 25 cents. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Y ahí termina todo el listening. Pero ojo, en lo que quiero que estén correctos es que pueden hacer el listening dos o tres veces, pero si en, a la mitad del test no se acuerdan de algo, pueden volver a escucharlo y regresar a contestar la pregunta. ¿Ok? okay. Y esa es la primera parte. Vámonos a la segunda parte. Let's go back. Va, ese era el listening, ¿verdad? Uh, wait, ¿dónde estás? Me perdí. Okay. Es que me fui a las 5. Ok, aquí voy. Meet and test. Ok. El B, fill in the blanks. Vamos a la parte B, fill in the blanks. Aquí es solo de eh, mm -hmm. contestar en los espacios en blanco. Look, fill in the blanks. 
ojo, aquí siempre les digo a mis grupos, tengan mucho cuidado. Uno, no dejar espacio en, eh, eh, extras en las letras. Normalmente, un espacio nada más. Al final de las oraciones tenemos que darle punto al final. ¿okay? Y a veces, eh, cuando hay apóstrofes, a veces hay que cambiar el teclado porque la plataforma lo comprende todo en inglés. Entonces, cuando estamos contestando, el teclado a veces está en español. La mayoría de veces, todos mis alumnos utilizan su software en español. Yo lo utilizo en inglés, pero entonces el teclado lo, lo reconoce automáticamente la plataforma. Pero en su caso, si ustedes usan eh, su sistema operativo o Word o Excel, lo, lo utilizan en español, cambien el teclado, el idioma del teclado a inglés. ¿Dónde lo hacen eso? Acá, mira. Oh, no lo puedo compartir porque eso, esto lo cubre. Pero en la parte de, de la barra de herramientas de Windows, a, a, al lado derecho, abajo, ahí dice español. Hagan clic y lo cambian en inglés y ya van a ver qué rápido lo reconoce. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Y ahí está. Dice, tu, 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 fill in the blank stick. Ojo, leer bien la instrucción. Están las instrucciones tanto en español como en inglés para que no haya pérdida. Y esto es the correct form of B, la, la correcta forma de B. Recuerden que B es am, is, are. ¿Okay? Sí, por ejemplo, la 1. Where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? So, entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué va aquí? El are. Where are you? Are. are. Uh -huh, solo are. Solo eso voy a poner. A-R-E. -E. Ya está. Uh, no debo tocar nada. Oh, ya la regué. Uh, my bad, my bad. Ok, ya. <laughs> ok, por andarme metiendo donde no, no me llaman. Dice. Ok, so that's it. So be careful. Ojo, puntos tácticos. A veces hay que cambiar el teclado a inglés y um, ver de que no, no escriban espacios extras en la, entre palabras y dar los puntos pe, o los pedidos finales o encerrar en, entre, eh, si es pregunta, encerrarlo con, la, con el interrogativo. Ok. Cool. No es nada complicado, pero como les digo, algunos de, 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 los, eh, de los participantes, eh, como que solo una, no sé, quizás están acostumbrados que solo una vez ven las cosas y que de acuerdo a eso tienen que trabajar y que se les va a acabar el tiempo. No, aquí, aquí no hay tiempo, ¿ok? So, let's go next. Okay, section 3. Wait, midterm test. Va, esa era el, la segunda parte. Vamos a la tercera parte. Tercera parte. Okay. No. Oh, come on. Let's go to chorus. Let's go to number three. Let's go to Minter test. Y nos vamos a la tres. Circle the word. Circle the word. Solo es de encerrar la palabra. Espero que esto les sea de ayuda, chicos. Ok. Circle the word. The same thing. Part one. Choose the right Possessive adjective, possessive adjective, eso ya lo vimos, estuvimos eh, ahí hablando cómo era. Ejemplo, el uno dice, nice to meet you, Rich, and what's last name again? ¿Qué va aquí en what's? ¿Cuál es el posesivo que hace falta? Your. 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 Uh -huh. Sería esta, ¿eh? Your last name. Yes. Super fácil. Solo que acuérdense de leer bien la instrucción de qué se trata, si es posesivo, si es el be, si es el, 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 el auxiliar did, todo eso tienen que tomarlo en cuenta, ¿ok? Está súper fácil. Más fácil que decir ya comí. Piece of cake, piece of cake. I have a hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm I am hungry. hungry. I'm hungry. Vale, por ejemplo, miren esta. Choose the proper object pronoun, los pronombres. 
Johnny Depp is a is my favorite actor. I like him. And him. I like I him. Like him. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, ya están bien encaminados, okay? <laughs> Volvamos y veamos la otra parte. That was circle the world. Eso les va a ayudar porque ya no van a llegar extraños a que, que voy a ver allí. ¿Qué me espera ahí en el, en el examen? Y la otra es complete the sentence. Complementar las, las, las oraciones. Sentences. Me gusta esa parte. Ok, incomplete the sentences. También lo mismo, solo sigamos bien la instrucción y no habrá problema. Filling the gaps with the correct time expressions. Estuvimos hablando de time expressions. Por ejemplo, look, I sleep 10 p.m. on weekdays. So, ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? At. At. I sleep at, at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Very good. John gets home late. At, at, at nine. Very good. Ok, ya ven, ustedes lo pueden, más si eso van a salir 10. Pero hay una pregunta, teacher. Yep. ¿Será solo de poner el at o de llenar todo? No. O el, hacer ah, toda no, la oración. El at, el at. Ah, dice, mire. Solamente. Instructions, fill the gaps. Solo es de, dice, Va. rellenar el, el espacio en blanco. O sea, aquí. Ok. Sí, solamente. Uh -huh. La parte 2, mire. Fill the sentences with the demonstrative pronouns. Los pronombres demonstrativos. Demonstrativo. How much is what I can find a price tag? Ok. Si, vean bien la pregunta. How much is what I can find a price tag? So, ¿cuál sería el demonstrativo aquí? It. Demonstrativo. It. Demonstrativo. It. ¿Cuáles son los demostrativos? ¿Se acuerdan? Son no. cuatro. Yes. Cuatro. No. This, 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 those, that, that this, 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 that, this, this, that, this, that, this, that, 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 this, this, that, 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 Dis cuando se puede tocar. Cerca. Watch qué es. Mirar. Reloj. Reloj. Pero a cuánto se refiere? A uno. A uno. Fuera plural. Watches. Watches. Que lleva es. Solo es uno. Entonces algunos me dijeron dos. Ese es para plurales. Vaya. ¿Quién me dijo that? Es para, ese that significa que está lejos de mí. Lejos, ajá. Y en esta oración, sería this. Este que está, this. this. Ajá, es this. this. ¿Por qué this? Mm -hmm. Porque aquí al, al final dice, I can't find a price, price tag. No le Ay, encuentro no el precio, puedo, quiere decir que lo precio. tiene en la mano. Mm -hmm. Lo tiene en la mano, por eso. Entonces, this. How much is this watch? Ojo, tienen que eh, eh, ver cómo está la, la, la pregunta, la oración. Para que al final usted, ah, sí, entonces este es singular, el reloj es singular, y como lo tiene en la mano porque no puede encontrar un precio, y quiere decir que lo está revisando, entonces es this. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. 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 Ok. Y así está todo. Y ahí terminamos. Vamos a, a la última parte. No sé si, si, si les parece bien que les esté... Sí, ah, sí. Explicando esto. ¿Les parece bien? Sí, sí. sí. Ok. Sí, thank you. Si no, yo, porque algunos piensan, ay, teacher, me está quitando el tiempo, que no sé qué. O sea, no, es teacher. Cierto, la clase es súper importante, sí. pero esto también creo que es súper importante. Ok. So, en la última parte que encontramos es the reading. Ojo, en, en el reading tiene que eh, pensar un poquito. Hágale el reading, quédese un poquito pensativo, vuelva a leerlo con calma, con tiempo, eh, tómese su tiempo, analícelo, 
no comience desde la primera vez de que lo lee, lo empiece a, a contestar, no. Analícelo unas dos o tres veces y después con tiempo ya calmadito eh, empieza a contestar. Ok, veamos. Reading. Recuerden que el reading más que todo se utiliza para analizar y ver si en verdad ha comprendido lo que está escrito ahí. Ok, miren, el reading. Um, reading, instructions, read the email, then check the correct answers. So, esto se trata de, de leer bien este correo electrónico y después de darle eh, o seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Ya ve, miren, ahí dice, oh, hi Ernesto, in your email message you ask me what do I do every day. Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I go to school around eight, so blah, blah, blah. So you read. Okay, Lee, termino de leer. Okay, Me empiezo a analizarlo. Ah, oh, so he's talking about jobs. Lo analizo y, y comprendo. Está hablando sobre trabajos y cosas que hace a, a diario. Okay, so entonces voy, ya que lo analicé, ya comprendí, lo leo una vez más para no perderme no sé, cualquier cosa que me pasé la primera vez. Por ejemplo, oh, I study in the library every weeknight. So this, ah, estudia en la librería todas las noches. Okay. No todas las noches, sino que las noches de la semana. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes. Mm -hmm. Weeknights. Mm -hmm. Weeknights. Entonces, no estudia el sábado ni el domingo. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, ya es algo que no había visto la primera vez. Entonces, ya vengo. Ok. Y empiezo. Mm -hmm. Ernesto, si es Chris, y aquí mm -hmm. hay una drop down menu. Drop down menu, look. Boom. Display. Ajá, un menú desplegable. Drop down mm -hmm. menu. Entonces dice, classmate, new friend, best friend. So, de acuerdo a la, a la lectura, que es Chris? Class. De acuerdo a la lectura, si no estoy seguro, entonces. Yo ni yo ya me veré de vuelo en estudio de universidad en el cabo de Your new e-friend. Entonces es su amigo. Entonces vengo yo. Ya me acordé. Entonces es su amigo. New friend. Ok, mire. Your new e-friend. Y no es amigo que lo conoció cara a cara, sino que por internet. Por eso se dice e-friend. Oh. Electronic email. O your email friend. Oh. Lo que antes se llamaba. Antes esto, y, y friend, antes se llamaba eh, Pen Pal. Antes se llamaba Pen Pal, que era eh, amigo por cartas, que solo uh -huh. se escribían. Esto, eso estoy, estoy hablando hace unos 20 años, creo que eso fue hace mucho tiempo. Uh -huh. eh, amigos por cartas, nada más. Ok, so, ya ven que está súper fácil. Preguntas. Todo relax. Todo nítido. Uh, like our chata. Like, <laughs> ah, I want, I want, I want our chata with three pupusas, please. Uh. <laughs> okay, good. So, veo que todo está entendido. Let's go back. Vámonos de nuevo para allá. Okay. Let me go here. Start again. And... Let me go to the presentation. Here it is. Here it is. A ver si hay unos quedan. Okay, guys. So, I hope you guys do very well in everything. Espero que hagan muy bien las cosas. Ojo, as como le dije a alguien anteriormente, eh, si, si tienen algún problema en algún ejercicio, tómenle screenshot al ejercicio específico y compártalo en el grupo, ¿ya? Eh, porque a veces estoy bien saturado de cosas y en el momento no les puedo ayudar y no, les, no los quiero hacer esperar. Pero si lo envían al grupo, alguien les va a ayudar y si no, cuando yo llegue, yo también a, hago mi, mi contribución, ¿ok? okay. okay. Sure. Una pregunta. Yes. Y si uno llena el test, digamos, el, el, el knowledge, y si... Tiene un error o así como me pasó a mí que no me pegaba porque el punto no se lo puse y todo eso. Le da submit y le da la X. Pero si lo arregla, 
afecta el haberlo hecho mal primero y después arreglarlo? No, no, no. Usted puede volver y hacer el arreglo, no hay problema. Ah, okay. Y le tome en cuenta el último intento. Ah, ok. Ok, no hay problema. Ok, um, ¿alguna otra pregunta sobre la plataforma? No. Ok, ok, ok. Let's move on. Let's go to trim, uh, 3.10. Uh, How do you spend your day? Achievement indicator. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. ¿Todos? No se ve. Oh, oh. Ah, es que estaba compartiendo el website. Sí, sí, sí. Sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, where are we, where are we, where are we? Oh, here we are. Stop sharing. Okay, hoy sí. Let me share the PowerPoint presentation. Here we go. Ahora? No. Oh, sí. No. Sí. <laughs> okay. Sí. <laughs> Me asustó. No. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. So, 3.10, achievement indicator. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Todos. 3.10 achievement indicator. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Adjective. Comparative adjectives. No, para, vamos a comprender los, eh, los adjetivos comparativos, que ya hablamos de eso anteriormente. So, veamos. Okay, number one. Do you like the Nike or the New Balance, Balance sneakers? Do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? Everybody. Do you, you like the Nike the or the New Balance sneakers? Do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? Do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. The New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. On my size. My size. What do you like more, a discount or a sale? What do you, you like, like more, more, a discount or a sale? sale? What do you like more, a discount or a sale? What do you like more, a discount a sale? I really prefer a good discount. I really prefer a good discount. Here. Up here, okay. Uh, which is cheaper? Oh, uh, aquí le faltó una A. Es cheaper. Okay. Yeah, me comí la letra. Sorry, tenía hambre. Uh, which is cheaper, <laughs> Nike or New Balance? Which is cheaper, Nike or New Balance? Which is cheaper, Nike or New Balance? Which is cheaper, Nike or New Balance? I think that they cost just about the same. I think that they cost just about the same. About the same. I think that they cost just about the same. I think that they cost just about the same. Which watch is nicer? Which watch is nicer? Which watch is nicer? Which watch is nicer? I would definitely buy, yeah, I would definitely buy me, wait, I would definitely buy me, ooh, my bad, me falto algo. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there it is. Uh, no. Okay, here. Uh, I would definitely buy me a fossil, a fossil. A fossil one. Those are nicer. Very good. Um, cheaper. Cheaper, yes. Thank you, thank you. Sopa de letras comí. 
Okay. So there it is. Veámoslo en acción. Okay. I would definitely buy me a fossil one. Those are nicer. Todos. I would definitely, definitely buy, buy my fossil one. Those are nicer. Those are nicer. Definitely. 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 I would definitely, I would definitely buy, buy me a fossil one. Those are nice. I would definitely Okay, let's see. Okay. Esther, uh, do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for uh, our... a pair. A pair. My no, no, side. no, a pair. A pair. A pair. Yeah. A pearl inside. Yeah. Good. Ask Eduardo. What would you like more at the sky or a sun? Sail. A really discount or a sail? Or a sail. I really prefer a good discount. Good. Ask Nancy. Sorry. Nancy, Sorry. is it cheaper? Not a minute. Is it cheaper, Nike? Nike or New Balance? I think that they cost just about the same. Just, just about the same. Just about the same. Thank you. Ask Veronica. Veronica, which watch is nicer? I would. I would. I would. I would. I, 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 would, I would definitely buy my Sophie one. Those buy are me. nicer. No, no, no. Buy me a, buy me a fossil one. Buy me a fossil one. Those are nicer. Thank you. Ask Max. Uh, Max, do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. Good. Ask Nancy. Nancy, what do you like more? A discount or a sale? I really prefer a good silicone. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I will prefer, I really prefer a good discount. Discount. I really prefer a good discount. Okay, ask Danilo. Danilo, which is cheaper, Nike or New Balance? I think that they cost just about the same. Good, ask Ulises. This is which watch is nicer? <laughs> I would definitely buy me a fossil one. Those are nicer. Very good. Okay, ask Jennifer. Jennifer, do you, do you like the Nike or the New Balance sneakers? I prefer the New Balance better. Let's ask for a pair on my size. Good, ask Grisela. What do you like more, a discount or a sale? I really prefer a good discount. Good. Ask Vladimir. Vladimir, which is cheaper, Nike or New Balance? Nike. 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 That they cost just about the same. All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Let's move on. Let's see what we have next. Oh, we finished. Look. Nice. So that was section number three. That was it. Okay, um, guys, we have time for one thing. ¿Cuál era el tiempo que estábamos viendo en esta sección? Pasado simple, creo que era. ¿no? Simple pass. Simple pass, good. Ok, a simple pass, let's make questions. ¿Cuáles son las WH questions que saben? What, where, what, where, where, where how, how, when, when how, how, where, how, where, how, where, how, where, how, where, how, uh, what kind we, of? What which, kind? which? 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 Ah, very good. Who? Who? Okay. 
Who? Who? Yeah, who's, who's. Okay, who's, uh -huh. let's, let's do something. We're going to do a little, with, because we have, uh, we have time. Let, let me do this here. Okay, I'm going to work with this. Okay, so let's start with uh, the first question. Uh, let's put it this way. Uh, what? Okay, can we do one question using the, the uh, using which verb? Um, what verb do you want to use? It. It. Okay. Okay. So. First question, who can make the first question with this, with it? In simple past. In simple past, simple past. Uh, what did you eat last night? What did you eat last night? Okay, very good, okay, good, good. Um, let's see, uh, let's start here. Wait, 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 oh, did I do? Oh, I see what I did. Okay, let's see. Um, Ulises, what did you eat last night? I ate pupusas. No. What is the bird in the past? Ate. Uh -huh. I ate pupusas. I ate pupusas. Last uh -huh. night. Ojo. Last la night. La estructura dice que tenemos que... Un día intenté hacer la baleada y me quedó la masa. What did you eat last night? So, la, la, la estructura tiene que ser... I ate pupusas last night, okay? Very good. Ulises, ask Jennifer. Jennifer, what did you eat pupu? What did you last what did you eat last night? Yes. I ate pupusas. ¿Cuándo? Last night. Okay, ojo, tiene que ponerle ojo a la a la pregunta para que así la estructura sea buena, okay? Jennifer, okay. Grisela. What did you eat last night, Grisela? I ate uh, beans and rice. Good. Casamiento. A wedding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, Grisela, uh, ask Vladimir. Uh, Vladimir. Pero Grisela se le olvidó decir last night, porque la pregunta era last ah, night. Last night, okay. Um, what did you eat uh, last night? Vladimir. I eat. No, okay. no, no, no. I ate. I ate. Lo voy a ayudar aquí. I ate. No, ¿qué comí yo? ¿A qué comí yo? Ah, I ate a calzone last night. Yes, me trajeron un calzone de allá de... The, 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 the price mark. Large. I ate a calzone last night. Okay, good. Um, Vladimir, did you answer? I ate hot cakes last night. Good. Wait, let me put this here like this. Like this. And I like this letter here. What did you eat? I like this one. What did you eat? And we're going to do this like this. Okay, good. Uh, Vladimir. Ask um, Kim Fa, uh, Danilo. Ask Danilo, please. Danilo, what do you did you eat last night? I ate uh, eggs, beans, and bread last night. Good. Thank you, Danilo. Danilo, ask Max. You're welcome. Max, what did you eat last night? I ate um, some bread and coffee last night. Good. Uh, Max, as, as um, wait, who is next? Um, yeah, as Eduardo. Eduardo, what did you eat last night? I ate um, eggs and bread last night. Very good. Okay, uh, Eduardo, as Esther. Esther, what did you eat last last night? I I ate a vegetable and fruit last night. Last night. No olviden el periodo de tiempo. Periodo de tiempo. Night. Tal como se pregunta tiene que ir en respuesta. Esas son buenas estructuras en inglés. Si solo 
si ustedes solo me dicen, hey, what's your name? Oh, Tony. No es buena estructura, no es buen inglés. Si ustedes le preguntan, hey, what's your name? Usted tiene que contestar, my, my name, name is Tony. Esa es una buena estructura, es un buen inglés. No tiene que parecer perezoso. Y solo dice, oh, my, Tony. What's your name? Tony. No, my name is Tony. That's very good English, okay? So, vamos a ir con la siguiente. Pregunta, look. What time? Eh, Esther, pregúnteme con what time. Uh, what time is it? Hmm? No. What time is it? No, no, no. ¿Qué a qué, oh. hora, ¿qué, a qué horas comí calzones ayer, anoche? Oh, eh, what time do you eat? Did you eat? What time do you eat uh, calzones? ¿Y el periodo de tiempo? Last night. ¿Otra vez? Last este? night. ¿Otra vez? What time did you eat? What time did you eat calzones last night? Good. So, mi respuesta es, I ate calzones last night at 11.30, at 11.30, I guess, yeah, 35 p.m. Yeah. That's right. I ate calzones last night at 11.35 p.m. Esa era mi cena, eh? Okay, good. Now, Esther, make the question to Max. Uh, what time did you eat last night, Max? No, que fue lo que comió él anoche. So, tiene que saber que comió anoche él. Oh. Okay. What did you eat last night, Max? Last night, I ate some bread and coffee. Ahora le hace la otra pregunta. What time did you eat? Last night. Uh -uh. What time do you eat bread and coffee? Me? Esther, Mommy? Esther, le tiene que preguntar, what time did you eat bread and coffee last night? What time did you eat bread and coffee last night? I ate uh, some bread and coffee last night at 8.30 p.m. Good. Okay, Max, ask Eduardo. Eduardo, what did you eat last night? I ate uh, eggs and bread last night. Okay. What time did you eat eggs and last night? Uh, uh, eight. I, I ate. I, I ate uh, bread, bread and, egg. uh, egg and, and eggs last night at 7 o'clock. All right. Yeah. Ask Danilo. Danilo, what did you eat last night? I ate uh, eggs, beans, and bread last night. Eggs, beans, and bread. and bread. What time did you, what time? Uh, did what time you did you eat? A bread, beans, and, and eggs last, last night. night. I ate uh, egg beans and bread last night at uh, almost 7.45 p.m. Very good. Danilo, ask Nancy. Nancy, uh, what did you eat yesterday, uh, last, last, night, night? last night? Sorry. I ate pupusas. Pupusas, okay. Nancy. What time? Last night. Okay. Okay. What time did you eat pupusas last night? I eat pupusas last I night. Ate. I ate. I ate, I ate pupusas ate. last night at 6 p.m. Very good. Ah, tengo dos Nancy's aquí. Nancy Sánchez and Nancy Guillén. Okay, Nancy, yeah. pregúntele a, a Nancy Guillén también, please. Okay. Nancy, what time did you eat last night? No, no, no. I primero, primero oh. lo que comió. What did you eat last night? What did you eat last night? I eat a... I ate. I ate. I ate a bean and cheese and coffee last night. Ojo, no puede decir a bean 
porque beans no es contable. So, I ate beans. Beans es correcto, ¿ok? Um, ok. I ate beans. Uh, beans. No, no, beans. no, no. Ah, me dijo otra vez la A. I ate beans and cheese last night. Very good. Okay. What time did you eat beans and cheese? cheese? Last night, uh, I ate cheese and beans. Last night. Last night at 8 p.m. Good. As okay. Ulises. Okay. Ulises, what eat last night? No. What did you eat? What did you eat last night? What did mm -hmm. you eat last night? I ate pupusas light last night. What I pupusas? No, what I did you eat? What I did you eat pupusas last night? I ate pupusas last night at 7 p.m. Good. That's Esther. Esther, what did you eat last night? I eat. I ate. I I sorry. I ate a banana last night. Last night. What time did you eat a banana last night? I I eat. I okay. ate. I ate um a banana last night, night at 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 six. Uh, I sit uh, past uh, 40. Okay, good. Uh, 40 p.m. P.m. Okay, as Jennifer. Okay, what did you eat last night? Uh, Jennifer? Jennifer? I ate pupusas last night. Good. What time did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Oh, what time did you eat pupusas last night? I ate pupusas last night at 7, 7 p.m. Good. Excuse as, me, as Grisela. I have a message for you. Grisela, what time? No. What did you eat? Last, last night. night, I ate beans and rice last night. What time did you eat beans and rice last night? I ate beans and rice last night at uh, 6 30 p.m. Very good. Ask Veronica, this is um, Veronica. What did you eat last night? I ate a wheat loroco last night. What time did you eat eggs with eggs, eggs. eggs with lorocos last night? I ate um eggs with loroco last night at six p.m. Six six p.m. Six p.m. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, we finish. Thank you. Uh, we finish section number three and uh, remember to finish everything on the platform uh, by Sunday, even that the test, okay? If okay. you have by any chance any questions or anything, refer to the group and in any case that nobody help you, I'm going to be there too, okay? Um, I'll see you next Monday. Next Monday, we start section number four. And because you like the way that I do this new uh, format of presenting the material, I'm going to do the same with uh, section number four and five, okay? okay. We can, including okay. practicing with vocabulary and the grammar section, okay? Okay. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Have a good night. Have a nice good weekend. Good night. Have a good night and have a good weekend, teacher. Good have a nice weekend, guys. See you, see, you, see you Monday. See you Monday, God willing. Thank <laughs> you.